Hello everyone, this is Sophia here from Christianity and Encouragement Channel. Today I just want to encourage everyone there that in spite of this coronavirus or COVID-19 that's circulating around or that's a pandemic that we're all experiencing, the inconvenience that this is causing, the financial restraint or financial difficulty that's causing to a lot of people, it's worrying enough for people to be circulating scaremongering videos to to discourage people further this is a time that we christians or believers have to encourage people have to encourage each other this is the time for us to preach salvation to people the time to talk about the goodness of god what god is able to do in our lives god god can do in people's lives no circulating videos that oh there is a reason why um the state leaders or the government or world leaders are promoting um, uh, social distance or they are promoting working from home come on working from home or social distance is the whole point of that is to reduce the spread of the virus because this virus is very contagious so when we stay far from each other then we minimize the, the rate at which it's spreading that's all that it's about you you listen to videos or watch videos that you hear public speakers or inspirational speakers or you hear men of God saying, oh, there's a reason for this. They just want us to stay indoors. So they introduce um, artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is already in the system. Coronavirus is not going to change anything about artificial intelligence. It's already there. Coronavirus coming into place doesn't mean that the world is going to end tomorrow. Nobody in this world, even Jesus Christ himself, doesn't know when his second coming is going to be. He said he's going to come like a thief who comes without notice. We will not know. But as we can see, for many years now, the signs of the end time or the second coming of Christ, we've all been experiencing things. When you read the book of Revelation from chapter 1 to 22, you see that things that have been happening over the years is portraying signs that anything could happen. But we just have to keep focus, put our hope and trust in the Lord, doing our best so we can inherit the kingdom of God. No scaring people. I, I saw a video the other day, a whole man of God, all you could say to people is that, oh, they're trying to um, put us into our various homes, we strain us from movement, we strain us from coming out. So at the end, they will introduce chi into our hands which is the sign of the sex, 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 that we, we need to have that before we buy food, before we trade. Oh, come on. Come on. That chip thing, I know for a fact that some people have got chips in their fingers already. That is something that's already gone around. It's not a coronavirus that's going to bring it into play. It's, it's not this. This is the time that you need to tell people how God, how wonderful God is, how marvelous God is. What God can do, God can turn every situation around, every problem around. When we call upon him, he will answer us. When we seek him, he's there to, to receive us. God is a miracle God. He's a God of signs and wonders. This is the time for, them, for you or those ministers to preach to God that God loves us so much. That's why he gave his only begotten son to die for our sake, to take away our sins so we can inherit the kingdom of God. But rather... You preach things, you say things that could kill people before the uh, coronavirus get access to them. You say things or preach uh, um, um, scaremongery things that could even kill people before they get infected with this virus. Why? Why? Sometimes I watch this and say, what kind of men of God are these? Or, or maybe it's me that I'm strange. Forgive me. If I sound strange, forgive me. Or... I don't know what's going on. This is the time that we use this opportunity. Level, you see, all that is happening. This is when you need to get closer to God. Because God is the salvation. In him you trust. In him there's victory. In him there's salvation. He said, when you use the blood of Jesus, you apply it over your life. You soak yourself in the blood of Jesus. You soak your household in the blood of Jesus. You soak your children, every aspect of your life in the blood of Jesus. When they see the blood, they will pass over. When the spirit of coronavirus or COVID-19 is passing, when they see the blood, they will not come near your way. They will not come near your dwelling. This is a time to preach the power of God, that what God can do. Brother, you're pushing people away. You're making these videos. Because ah, people... Uh, 
put in fear. Trust me. Some of these things will kill people before they get infected with the virus. So please, let's minimize the way we listen to these people, these public speakers, these inspirational speakers, some men of God. What they are preaching, I have concern about this. Or I have concern about their, the content of their preaching. This is a time for you to win souls for Christ. Let them know that God is the ultimate salvation. In God, you have victory. In God, you have deliverance. In God, you have salvation. In God, you have divine protection. Things will happen minus you. Things will happen. You are not included. You are not involved. They will not even see your shadow close to that thing. But rather, we are doing the opposite. Beloved, please, let's minimize how we listen to this scaremongery videos, scaremongery uh, content that's circulating. But rather, we should lift up our voice to the Lord, sing unto the Lord, worship Him, adore Him, and His grace will fall upon us. His mercy will rain upon us. His signs and wonders will rain upon us. This coronavirus will pass. I believe strongly that it will pass. If it, if some people are saying it could last up to 18 months. 18 months could pass before we know it. It's going to cause severe financial restraints, severe financial difficulties. It's going to cause so much stress into our lives. But with God, all things are possible. People will be struggling, but the Lord will see us too. People will not have money, but the Lord will provide for us. Because he said he's the provider God. He's the way maker God. He's the covenant keeper God. All that we need to do is to put our hope and trust in him and know that yes, he is God. That's all I'm going to say to you. Do not be afraid for the Lord is with you. Put your hope and your trust in the Lord. He who does supernatural miracle, he who make a way where there seems to be no way. He said, I am the Lord thy God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. If you brought them out of the land of Egypt, if you follow the, 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 the story behind the Israelites that were living in Egypt, they went through horror. They went through severe um, uh, difficulties, but the Lord put, the, put, put them out. The Lord will, put, will pull this earth out of this um, pandemic. I believe 100% that this thing will be over. It will be difficult, but it, it, we will get there. We will surely get there. The blood of Jesus will not be in vain. The blood of Jesus will not be in vain. He will save us. So long as we know that he is God, he can save us. He will do everything. He will do anything for us. The, the scripture says, resist the devil. Resist negativity. Resist fear. But have hope, have courage, have confidence that the Lord in his supreme power will perform a miracle. Because he has made us know that he's a miracle working God. He does all things beautiful in his time. He's a way maker. I believe so much in God that the Lord will see us too. No matter how long it takes. When it takes six months, a year, 18 months that people are saying... It's fine. We will get there. But I pray that the blood of Jesus should not be in vain. My prayer each day is that let the blood of Jesus not be in vain. I apply the blood of Jesus over my neighborhood, over my home, over my children, over my husband, over my, my every aspect of my, my job. Look, I apply the blood of Jesus to the whole street that I live on. The blood of Jesus never loses its power. It will never lose its power because it's mighty. It's wondrous. The blood of Jesus will save us. When you keep applying the blood of Jesus, like coronavirus spirit, come close. When they see the blood of Jesus upon you, your household, your everything, they will flee. They will not even come close to your street because your street is anointed with the blood of Jesus. Your street is anointed with the blood of Jesus. All you need to do is be positive. Lord, see us too. God of mercy, have mercy upon your children. Lord, for the sake of your children, do not, la do not let us perish. This is a time for souls to be win unto your glory. But I say, when we win one soul into your glory, there's jubilation. The angels, of the, the angels in your throne, they rejoice. They celebrate you. So, Father, let this be an opportunity for us, to, for us be Christians, for us believers, to draw souls into your glory. So, guys, I'm going to end, end this video here. I pray honestly, vividly, the power of the living God will see us through this 
turmoil that is going to. This pandemic will be over. The God of Israel, the God of ancient of days, the I am, the I am God, God of Esther, God of Hannah, God of Isaac, God of Moses, God of Abraham, that Lord will rise in infinite mercies to save us. He will heal us. He will have mercy upon us. We will all be healed in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. May the blood of Jesus mark each and every soul that is watching me. Let the grace of the Lord be with you and your household. You will not die. You are not yet to die because the power of God is in, is in display. You will not die prematurely because God does not support premature death. You will not be a failure. You will not be a loser. The grace of the, of the living God will be upon you in all that you do in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. You are blessed and highly favored. The power of the living God be with you in all things that you do. I love you all. Shalom. Bye.